thank you. Leonardo da Vinci designed it. <laughs> yeah, who else? <laughs> oh, here. Oh, Master, I'm going to cry. <laughs> hey, we got champagne, and we have caviar, and we're going to have the most beautiful party anybody ever had. Oh, I am so excited. <laughs> oh, and it was such a surprise. How did you know that I wanted a birthday party? You're psychic, I guess. Oh, you are the most wonderful master a genie ever had. Well, I haven't had too much experience at this genie, but you're the most wonderful genie a master ever had. Oh. Here. Oh. 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 Oh, it is lovely. Oh, Master, thank you, a little genie bottle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish we could have a lot of people at the party. Would you? Genie, who are all these people? Oh, these are just a few of my friends. <laughs> oh, this is Major Nelson. Thank you. Benjamin Franklin. How do you do? Yeah. How do you do? Have you seen Mark Anthony? You <laughs> have not lately. Oh. Please, this, please. Uh, this is Major Nelson, Marie Antoinette, you do? William Shakespeare. How do you do, sir? You remind me of my old friend Yorick. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon, sir. That's Hamlet. It was? Oh, well, Hamlet, Romeo. When you've written one, you've written them all. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, behave yourself. Oh, that is perfectly normal behavior. Uh, uh, this is Major Nelson, uh, uh, Sigmund Freud. Oh, how do you do, sir? And King Henry VIII? How do you do, sir? How do you do, lad? Oh. I hope you do not mind, Master. Mind? Of course not. This is wonderful. Oh, then I do not have to send them away. Oh, no, no, of course. Oh, there is somebody I would like to see. Them. Uh, uh, Jeannie, Jeannie, don't leave me here. Major Nelson. Oh, Dr. Bellows, how are you, uh, sir? Is it how I, I wasn't you, uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> well, it, it, uh, uh, Marie Antoinette. And isn't this William Shakespeare? Well, it's not mm. real William. Oh, and uh, aren't you King Henry VIII? Well, I... Oh, Cleopatra. Caught me. Caught you? Yes, sir. You're looking at some of the greatest figures in history. Oh, yes. <laughs> sir, uh, I knew this day was going to come. I might as well tell you everything. Yes, and yes, after you've told me, you think that I'm going to rush back and tell General Peterson that you're entertaining Cleopatra, Shakespeare, and King Henry VIII? Yes, well, no, Major. <laughs> I don't know why you have these guilt feelings about not inviting me to your costume party, but we'll settle that at our next little session, won't we? A costume, costume party? Did you know, uh, some of the costumes are uh, quite effective. Although, I think you're overdoing the padding a bit. Don't you? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Shakespeare, I I've enjoyed your work. Thank you. And uh, who are you supposed to be? I am Dr. Sigmund Freud. Oh, I'm a psychiatrist, too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, enjoy your party, Major. Yes. Sir. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Jeannie. Is everything all right, Master? Nothing is all right. Do you know how close I came to getting thrown out of the space program? Oh. I'm sorry, Master. You're sorry? Listen, get rid of these people. But you just said that yeah, you... I know, but get rid of them. Oh. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. All except Dr. Freud. Um, oh, Doctor, may I see you for just a moment, sir? Uh, you see, I have a little problem. And seeing you're here, I might as well use your talents. I, uh, I'm an astronaut. And one day I landed on this... This, well, this deserted island, and I picked up a genie out of a bottle. And ever since, I, I haven't had a night's sleep. Not a good night's sleep. 
I tell you what, I'll get changed and we'll go out to dinner. Oh, Master, I would not want you to miss your ball game. There are some sandwiches for you in the kitchen. I have a date. <laughs> hey, um, you really like this fellow, don't you? Oh, yes, Master, he's wonderful. Oh, but do not worry, I will still be your genie. I am grateful to you for having let me out of my bottle. Well, I don't want you to be grateful to me. I, well, I thought you liked me, Jeannie. Oh, I do. Do you like me better than him? Oh, well, that is a difficult question to answer. It is like, uh, oh, like comparing lemons and oranges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Are, are you sure that I look all right? Oh, yes, yes, just one. Oh, do my hands feel nice and soft? They sure do. I'm using a very old perfume. <laughs> Does it smell nice? It smells beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Good evening, I'm ready. Oh, Jeannie, you look like you're made of moonlight. Oh, thank you. Um, hi, Major. <laughs> I want you to see that she gets home safely. Oh, don't worry. I have a black belt in karate. <laughs> Uh, Master, yes? would you do me a favor, please? Uh, sure. Let me know how the ball game comes out. <laughs> Rich 15 in the morning. Oh, boy. She's not as much about men as... Awakened you, Master. I thought you might have been waiting up for me. Mm, no. No, why should I wait up for me? I'm going to sleep for hours. What time is it? One o'clock. It's 3 17 in the morning. What do you mean by staying out half the night with a man you don't even know? Oh, I feel as though I've known him all my life, Master. Yeah, you, you do, huh? Well, that's exactly what he wants you to feel. You know why? Because he's a con artist. He's a con artist, and he probably thinks that you're some kind of an heiress, and he's going to take you for everything you're worth. Do you really think so, Master? Oh, I've seen it a thousand times, a thousand times. On the outside, he's great. On the inside, he's rotten to the core. Rotten. <laughs> I bet you didn't even pay for dinner. You're right. I did not see him pay. Yeah, yeah, see, there. Where'd you eat? On his yacht. On his yacht. <laughs> he's a hundred feet long. <laughs> he owns diamond mines. <laughs> see what he gave me? <laughs> What is it, some kind of a sample? An engagement ring. Yeah? Good night, Master. <laughs> Yacht. Diamond. <laughs> well, you must not say such things, darling. Not over the telephone. <laughs> oh, I do, I do. <laughs> I will see you later. Goodbye, my precious pet. <laughs> oh, good evening, Master. Hi, Jeannie. Your dinner is almost ready. Oh, forget about dinner. I'm going to take you out to a French restaurant tonight. I thought maybe we'd have a 15-course meal, and then I might take you dancing, and then we could have a long ride along the beach. How, how does that sound? Oh, that sounds wonderful, Master. <laughs> good. But I'm going out with my fiancé tonight. <laughs> Jeannie, you're not really serious about marrying this guy, are you? You could forbid it. You're still my master. Well, I, I shouldn't have to for, forbid any guy. You know, I thought that you and I had a... Oh, yes, master. Are you in love? Oh, yes, master. Heels overhead. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do when he finds out you're a genie? He knows that I'm a genie. He, he knows you're a genie and he still wants to marry you? Of course. He says that if you are really in love with someone, it does not matter if they are rich or poor or ugly or pretty or a genie or a girl. Do you agree with that, Master? Sure. Yeah, yeah sure. I'm pleased to hear that. I just don't want to see you rush into anything, you know. Why don't you have a nice long engagement? We are going to be married Saturday. Sa this coming Saturday? This Saturday? He cannot wait to get married. Is that not sweet? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's adorable. 